So if you're like me, you grew up with a CRT television that weighed a thousand pounds, and then now you've got a fancy 4K TV, and your CRT's been tossed a long time ago. But if you'd like to relive that CRT pixelated experience, there's a couple ways you can do that through RetroPie, uh, mainly through overlays or sh shaders. So overlays are basically you overlay an image on top of the video. So if it's like a scanline overlay or something like that, it will look at, like a CRT, or you can do bezels so it looks kind of like an arcade with a little uh, pictures on the side or something. And then you can use shaders, which basically use the GPU to render the pixels a certain way uh, according to different computer alg algorithms and code. So it's a little more intensive processing wise, but it scales a lot better with videos. Whereas if you've got a overlay and it's one specific dimension and your TV is a different dimension, then it might not look how you intend it to. But the processing, it, it's pretty simple because it's just rendering one image. So it may be easier on a lower system like the Pi. So for this video, I'm just going to focus on shaders and how to configure those in RetroPie. So your simplest way to do that is through the configuration editor. So under the RetroPie menu, configuration editor. And then as a caveat, these things only work on, on shaders only work on the RetroArch or LibRetro emulators. So configure the basic emulator options for LibRetro and then in this case I'm just going to set for all of the LibRetro emulators but you can do it by system if you like and then so uh, just, this is another setting video smoothing so if you like your pixels really blocky you leave that off if you want them to be a little more blurry and look a little I guess more meshed with the video then you can turn that on but some of that's handled with shaders as well depending on which one you choose so to enable shaders you just set that to true and then video shader file we'll pick in this case we'll do the CRT Pi since that's kind of the de facto standard for the Raspberry Pi the RetroPi comes pre-configured with shaders that are coded specific to the RetroPi's architecture since they as I mentioned use GPU to render uh, the Raspberry Pi being a small SSC a system on chip it doesn't uh, have as much power as a PC might so these are optimized for the Pi specifically so choose CRC Pi and then we'll go back and open up maybe Sonic or something and see how it looks Right, so maybe you can see the scan lines now, and maybe be a little more evident once we start playing. Okay, childhood, here I go. All right, so looks a little more like the old TV I grew up on. And then if you do select X, you can open up the Argui and switch the shaders from there as well. But these settings won't necessarily be saved per se. I find it easier just to use the configuration editor and then that way it will just set it for the whole system. But if you want to change the shader here you can do that. So maybe if you want to change it to be a bit curved like the old tube TVs you can apply those changes. Now I guess if you want to save it for this game you can just save it as a preset for this game only if that's the only game you want it on. So it looks applied and then select X takes it back out. So you can see it curves in the edge a bit more, so it looks a bit more like a curved TV, even though I've got a big flat screen. So I'm not going to go too much into RetroArch configs, I'll maybe do a different video for those as well at some point, but this will hopefully get you started just to uh, give you an idea of how to replicate your childhood. And then I'm going to just do a quick slideshow to end the video, showing the different shaders and what they might look like, and then maybe that will give you an idea of what you you'd prefer on your TV. I personally don't use shaders. If I want the authentic experience, I'm going to get an original art, actual CRT and plug it in because I guess I'm old school like that. So uh, enjoy and hopefully you can relive your childhood just a bit more that way.